Hey everyone, Bezat here alongside Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got the brand new Mainline Selvage, the latest release part of the Naked and Famous Denim Spring Summer 2022 collection. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, details, the story behind them, our thoughts and opinions, and of course, where you're going to be able to find a pair. So Risa, why don't you start us off with the specs? Okay, so Mainline Selvage is a Japanese lightweight nine ounce selvage denim, and it is 100% cotton denim. It's actually based off of like an old school workwear type of denim. And um, compared to our typical dark indigo denim, the color of the, the indigo is kind of like a lighter shade. It is what we call a workwear uh, blue. You can see these like white nymphs throughout the fabrics. These are all the like little dots that you see. You also can see this white contrast stitching, which we don't really do so often, but it is a, a like a typical kind of workwear garment style right, uh, detail. detail, right? Yeah. And uh, you were you were talking about the neps, and you know neps are kind of like slub, in the sense that they're imperfections in the fabric that are kind of what make the fabric the fabric. You know, it it has this um, wabi sabi kind of beauty of imperfection uh, mm -hmm. built in. And now the way neps come about are basically. When the yarn is spun, they're not spun perfectly. So there's like little loops and, and you know, cotton fluffs still uh, on that yarn. And when it's woven, those little fluffs and loops and knots show up as little spots throughout the fabric. And you can actually pick off some of the neps. They don't actually last forever. Some of them will be in there. Some of them will, will kind of fade away. I really like this detail a lot because it gives that fabric that natural kind of look mm -hmm. and it's just like it's it's very different from our our typical yeah. denim modern denim right but it like i like the idea that like this was just the imperfection that they didn't mean to put it in right. there back in the days but now we're bringing it up on purpose just to add some yeah. like just you know the, the yeah the to, to bring of, it back to bring back the taste of the old yeah. school right yeah. yeah i mean back in the day they it was just about making the jeans and putting them out there. People are going to wear them. They didn't really see this as like a fashionable, mm -hmm. you know, you know, premium garment. It was right. just made to work. Right. And 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 speaking of work, right? right. These this fabric was made to work. You know, mm -hmm. it, we say it's nine ounce lightweight, but nine ounce lightweight was actually nine ounce heavyweight back right. in the day. Nowadays, nine ounce is like lighter than regular denim. But yeah, back in the days, they didn't make anything heavier, like yeah. 12 ounce, 13 12 ounce. Or, or not, like 21 ounce. People think that's what the old school, like, you know, the miners used to wear. Mm. It's not the case at all. They used to right. wear fabric like this. Mm -hmm. And it actually makes a lot of sense because, you know, you needed a fabric that was light enough because you're working outside. You know, you're working on the hot summer sun. You, you, if you were to wear a heavyweight garment, it would have been cumbersome and you also would have just melted in that thing. So you just, you needed a, a fabric that was durable enough mm -hmm. and light enough that you could actually, you know, function outside working in them. And, and you know, bringing up to like today, mm -hmm. like this is a nine ounce lightweight denim. So if you are gonna wear it outside, you know, you're going to be comfortable in them. But if you're going to be, you know, doing activities in these, you know, hiking or camping or anything like that, you know, light work, I, I, I wouldn't do heavy, like heavy machinery type work in these. Um, you know, that's where real protective garments come in. But, uh, you know, if you light work, this is going to be durable enough to, to, you know, handle that type of thing. Right, exactly. And then like, it's it's also just like the the flasher. I really like the flasher and the name, yeah. the, the main line. I, I think it's perfect. You know, you, when you look at this, you look at old school workwear garments, but you also think kind of, uh, you know, I think kind of train conductors mm -hmm. and that, that type of uh, uniform. And really it came about from an this fabric came about as a reproduction of an old pair of overalls that I had. Uh, you know, I collect a lot of jeans and I had this beautiful pair of overalls um, that really reminded me of, of, of the railroad. And, mm -hmm. and of course, we have Garrett, our manager at Tate and Yoko, and he actually used to work on the railroad. So, so, so there's a lot of these vibes kind of hanging around the office. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I thought it would be a kind of a nice throwback, you know, railroad style denim, uh, yeah. you know, here. Um, let's look into some details. The leather patch here is actually not leather at all. Yeah, this that's is right. It's a vegan patch. It's a vegan patch. It's a cardboard patch, uh, just like old school jeans. And just like those old school jeans, this cardboard patch is basically gonna wear and disintegrate over time. You know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you ever look at old vintage jeans, you'll see like, 
the patch is kind of half there. Yeah. Like, so I can imagine in a couple of years as these jeans have faded, you know, you might start to see some cracks or patches or mm -hmm. you know, pieces missing yeah. on this leather patch. The hardware is our silver metallic yeah. hardware. Our classic hardware, all made for us, custom made by YKK in the USA. You've got the Naked Famous Denim Text logo and the Jetador Tout New here on the rivets. Mm -hmm. and when you take a look on the inside, you look at that selvage ID got that beautiful all white selvage very old school look it looks great and then it goes well with the the stitching as well these are going to be available in our three main menswear fits super guy weird guy and easy guy and we also have a chore coat uh, that matches up with these. Yeah. So uh, I'm very excited about the chore coat. It yeah. looks really great because it does like really match with the, the character of this denim with the, the big pockets, like a longer with the looser fit. Yeah. Uh, you can pair it up with more modern outfit and it looks kind of like perfect. Yeah, you can wear it like really old school heritage style mm -hmm. or wear it with like a, a crew denim and with, like a dress shirt and like really wear it like dressed up. Yeah. So it, it's, it's quite versatile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, I think that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, I, I, I don't think we missed anything, but if you have any question or if we did miss something, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, you can also ask us any kind of question live on our YouTube channel right here at uh, on Friday. I'm, trying, I'm forgetting, but I actually know the answer to this. Friday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern here on our YouTube channel. Risa and I do a live stream. We answer your questions live there. Um, you can uh, check out, oh yeah, last one, last bit, last bit. <laughs> if you want to get a pair of these, we've got a blog post also linked in the description below with a complete listing of our retailer availability. So you're going to be able to shop uh, locally at your favorite Naked and Famous Denim retailer. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you like this kind of content. And now... That's it. That's it. I'm pretty bad at these outros, <laughs> but uh, I hope you appreciate them uh, nonetheless. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.